Hey guys, Ben here. Congratulations on starting your sod laying project. What I want to talk about in this short video is just uh, the first step and what you can do with ground, taking it from this uh, weed infested tragedy that you see before you and turning it into ground that's suitable and ready for laying sod on top of it. Because as common sense would tell you, you absolutely cannot just take a piece of sod and lay it on top of a weed covered ground and expect it to take root and grow. Obviously you have to clear the pre-existing material and you have to uh, get the soil ready in order for the sod to root properly and, and start growing. So how do you do that? How do you take an area like this that's just horrible and uh, get it ready without too much effort or, or trouble? There's a couple options for you. There's about there's two main options that you can use. The the one that most people go with is just renting a rototiller. And most people are familiar with what a rototiller is. It's just a big gas powered device that you walk behind that has big tines that dig up about four to six inches of ground and it'll dig everything up. It'll dig up the roots, it'll dig up the weeds, and it'll just churn up the ground and it'll till it. It'll get it ready nice and uh nice and loose so that it's uh it's good earth. Now the problem with doing this the thing that you have to uh, that you have to understand is if you just take a rototiller to a patch of earth like this that just has a ton of weeds in it, and if you if you till it up, you're gonna get the 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 weeds killed and you're gonna get the soil loose. But what you're gonna end up having is you're gonna be uh, planting all the the weed seeds into your freshly tilled soil, which as you can imagine is probably not the best scenario. And these seeds are gonna be able to take growth. They're gonna be able to they're going to be able to root and some of the weeds are actually going to be able to grow up through cracks in your uh, in your sod and you're going to have a, a big weed infestation that you didn't plan for before too long. So if you are going to go the route of just renting a rototiller and you can rent these at, uh, at Home Depots and most places where you can rent heavy machinery. If you're going to go that route and you're going to you're going to just till up the ground because that's the easy, you know, the easiest way to do it. Just walk behind it and till up the earth. Then uh, what you're going to what you're going to want to do um, before you do that is you're going to want to sp uh, spread out what's called pre-emergent weed killer uh, before you start the rototilling process. And as the name implies, the pre-emergent weed killer will actually go after the, the weed seeds before they emerge out of the seed. That's why it's called pre-emergent weed killer, before they emerge from the seed and take root and start to sprout up a weed. So if you, if you buy some of this, and I have a link to it uh, below uh, where you can find it on Amazon, but you can usually get it at a, at a Home Depot or anywhere else, um, and it's cheap. You can spread it out onto your onto your um, area before you start the rototilling, and then what that's going to do is, as you till up the ground, you're going to be spreading the pre-emergent weed killer into the soil that's being tilled, along with the weed seeds that are in there as well. So while you're depositing weed seeds and tilling up the ground, you're also depositing pre-emergent weed killer in there too, which is going to attack the seeds and it's going to kill them before they have a chance to uh, sprout and take root. So that's a good way to go. And the pre-emergent weed killer won't hurt your sod and you're going to put a little bit of topsoil over the uh, the old soil anyway so it's not ever going to have contact with your sod roots but it's not it's not going to attack the roots of a uh, uh, fully grown healthy plants now the other method that you can use which is one that I actually prefer is to just grab a uh, a short handled flat shovel like this so you can see it's got the nice handle it's got the nice the nice edge and uh, with one of these you can actually grab it here and here and you can use it just like a blade and you can slice off the top layer of the uh, of the weed in the soil and you can go down maybe about an inch or two inches and you can slice off just the top layer and that's going to leave you bare earth bare dirt that's going to uh that's not going to have any weeds in it and you're going to clear out most of the uh of the roots and you're not going to have seeds deposited because of how uh uh, how you're going to scrape off the top. So you can see, this takes a little bit of effort, but as you can see, if you just if you just grab and scrape like this, you're going to be able to clear out you're going to be able to clear out a huge area. And as you can see, I'll show you, it's not too physically taxing. And you're just gonna you're gonna be able to clear out an area really fast. You just 
scraping off the top level. It's gonna get rid of all of your weeds, especially if they're dead weeds and if they're not anything too tall. You know, if it's just tall grass and things like that, you're gonna be able to go right through it really fast. And then you're gonna have bare earth and you're not gonna have a bunch of root material in there. You're not gonna have fresh seeds deposited. And you're gonna be able to take all of that material that you just scraped off and put it right into a trash can. If you go with the rototiller method, you're gonna have to go back through with a rake or a pitchfork or with some other tool that's going to help you collect all the weeds that you tilled up and get all that old root material and the old weed material and you're going to you're going to have to clear that out um, in order to to get your soil re ready before you can start planting so my preferred method is a little more difficult is just to start off with a flat shovel and clear all the surface material it really doesn't take that much time takes a little bit of technique but you'll get it down it's not too much trouble and then at that point when you have bare earth then you can get the rototiller out or you can get some other tool you don't have to use a tiller you can just get a uh, gardener's uh, hard rake one of the solid metal rakes and you can uh, rake up the ground pretty well but before you start the sod you're going to lay down some fresh topsoil on top anyway so you don't need to till if you do the method as I just described with the flat shovel you don't need to till up the earth too heavily because you're already going to uh, be putting topsoil on top of it which is going to be a nice bed you're going to put some other things in there too in order to get your uh, your sod ready so that's step one just getting the basics uh, of the ground prepared getting all the old debris out of there before you uh, start anything uh, serious before you actually um, spread out any of your topsoil or any other materials and get it ready for uh, the final product. So in the next video we're going to cover, um, we're going to go over some basics of sprinklers and other things that you need to do, soil amendments and whatnot. But this is just the first video on how to take a weed infested tragedy of a yard and get all the debris out quickly and easily and how to make it so that you don't have weeds just growing right up through the surface when you, uh, when you go to put your sod down. So thanks for stopping by.